Okay. Let's keep going then. I need to go hunting. <laughs> oh, good. Good, because we are going hunting. For our gangrels? <laughs> By the way, Mike, I would, I would just like to say, Baltimore, my character was completely and utterly willing to take this punishment. Good job. He didn't actually frenzy on you. <laughs> So. so, next time, when we're trying to do negotiations, and we're saying we're going for a soft sell, that doesn't mean go up to somebody and, uh, you know, start you know, just trying to do anything that's detrimental to them on a physical level. Got it. Be quiet and stand back. Well, good job. Maybe you did find something out. <laughs> So we're looking All for right. some more people then, or what do you wish to do? Let's go who on. are you guys? Who are we going to recruit? We're in a Camarilla city, we Let's are not infiltrators. Hunt. Let's go hunting and then go fuck up the brew hop. or the gangrel. Doesn't matter. We're closer we to need the gangrel. To get rid of the gangrel. Apparently took care of some of the, re the reinforcements coming in. So, all right, let's go fuck up the game. Uh, do we, we do we have any police still left? I don't know. You do. So we they recover the ones that were getting arrested, so you still have all of them left. And how many would that be completely? Eight. 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 But they have like four have shotguns eight. and four SMGs, so they're pretty well armed. Uh, and they're all with us right now. Just car. You you're just this big motorcade of doom going through the city, completely visible in a completely obvious way. But you know, they don't give a fuck. Ah, good. Then we're then we're in a good position for this. We head off to a gas station and we're going to rob it. <laughs> okay. Sure. Uh, Baltimore. There's well, a gas there's station. A gas station. Actually, yeah, every yeah. all the player vampires that are there, uh, roll perception alertness and learn. Give me a deck stealth. Okay. Um, perception alertness is, is he obfuscating or is there something else? Just asking. Awareness what, what, is against what? obfuscate. Alertness is regular things. Oh, he's yeah. he's oh, just yeah. trying to slip away so he can. He can do stuff. Six. Right. No. Um, Defender wins? Well, Gwen still gets the roll and Michael. Um, mm -hmm. Does my acute sense of sight come into play? Uh, I'll give you What's a minus one on something? that. Uh, okay, what so are we rolling? Uh, perception alertness. Perception alertness. Alright, perception alert. Yes. I will totally nail this difficulty. Uh, six, six yes. yes. And now I don't think your specialty would apply. Um, Gwyn, you're the only one who seems to notice Laren just casually adjust his top hat and start to stroll off. Away from us, is it? Yep. Uh, I, I, oh, I, I, I did tell him he can go hunting. He did tell me I could go hunting. I'm going to go hunting as well. I'm guessing Michael doesn't need to go hunting. No one gave you permission, <laughs> you blood clot. I'm going to ask him, but like, can I go hunting? Uh, by the way, uh, I am actually going to switch cell phones with you again, Aaron. Give me okay. my original one back. You can have your original one back. It's fine. So I think I, that I also should use my Dominate to hunt a little bit. Or maybe Aaron could give me more blood. I don't know. I'd rather not. What do I roll for hunting? Uh, with stealth like before. At uh, okay. It's not too late. 
with your obfuscate helping, it's at six. Mm. Same for Gwyn and Baldemar if they wish to go hunting. Uh, I don't need a hunt anymore. I'm leading an attack my on a, a maverick or something. <laughs> Like, there's a, a gas station right outside the gangrel uh, place. Uh, Don't uh, trust the down. map. Sure, you can have a gas so, station somewhere there, but... It, it's it just a general or seven thing. Or hunting with Dominate. Uh, you have a lot of Dominate, a lot of tools. I think we made it six last time, so... Six it is. I'll be rolling at eight then for Dexterity Stealth, I guess. Uh, what did we do last time? We how do you wish to hunt? Like I use uh, I use uh, uh, manipulation, intimidation, and also I'm turning one of my arms into blood because I don't want to be hungry while doing this. So you want to ambush people from stealth with one arm. I approve of this. Go ahead, Jacklor. <laughs> uh, does it increase the difficulty or something? No, no, surely not. Roll uh, Dex Stealth at a hidden difficulty. Just roll at six. I'll tell you if you're fucked. Screw you. <laughs> okay, you manage to actually grab and wrestle down a single person. Somehow, grappling people one-armed is extremely difficult. All kinds of problems with leverage and your balance is off. Who would have thought that your balance would be so much affected simply by losing Can a limb suddenly? Drinking him or not? Hmm? Can I also drinking him or not? You can drink him. You get one guy. And he starts screaming like bloody murder. He does, but Jackalor can... It was a 9 plus 1 roll. He succeeded. He can keep him quiet even with one arm, somehow. Good job. <laughs> you get uh, two guys, Laren, as does Michael. So, mm -hmm. you can easily take two points from each and get a total of six if you wish. Are you low enough to be hungry? For me? Yeah. I'm at 8 out of 15. I'll take no, three you... points of blood. Okay. Uh, Michael, From him. you find two guys, like... Yeah, how much do you take? So you just me? split up from where you were. Hunting in different directions, right? Yeah, I was talking about you, Michael. Mm -hmm. How much blood do you take? From each? Uh, I will take two from each person. No, Demi. I need you... Everyone who's going hunting, I need you to roll a luck die. No. Chits. I don't like luck dice. <laughs> Demi wasn't hunting, was he? <laughs> Lyron was, though. Yes, I agree. No, uh, Demi wasn't hunting. So... Also regrow my arm after getting the three blood points from the guy. Okay, I need Jackalore and Lyran to both roll another luck die. I need to see which one of you is the least lucky. Me. <laughs> okay, let's go to the random encounters map and see how fucked you are. Oh, oh boy. Hey. Okay. Uh, luck dies. You don't care because stuff. Do I need to place my place my token here somewhere? Uh, no, you're f you went off in different direction. Let's okay. see. Oh yes, that will do nicely. Let's see. Where am I at? You are at fucked o'clock. Got it. Oh, there's a lot of thin bloods there. <laughs> I 
Lyron, as you finish drinking, you realize that there's a lot of people <laughs> on the street and they seem to be hefting things like swords, axes, guns. They don't seem happy to see you there. Turns out they oh do protect their territory. <laughs> Funny thing is, I could probably just ignore them all. <laughs> oh yeah, they're staring at me, so that means I can't obfuscate. Oh boy. Start rolling initiative. Got it. Oh wait, never mind. She had celerity on top of that. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. Oh. Generate a kind of terrible result. I know. <laughs> I made <laughs> I made generic sheets for the gray stuff. You could talk your way out of it. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, the woman Initial calls out to you, just like you. There, come over here. Who the fuck are you? You could run out of the corner and pop this gate. Except she's I'm just high a initiative. You're a Nos Of course you are. Of course you are. <laughs> Make a manipulation subterfuge roll. I also have persuasive. <laughs> that might help. What difficulty? Six. This is a contested roll. Wow. So what, what are you trying to persuade her with? That I'm a, no a Camarilla Nosferatu. <laughs> I think we said that all spec sight and senses for things like detecting lies, every two levels counted for one debuff in difficulty. We did. Okay, let's when see. When did we do this? I got um, eight success. A while ago, actually. Yeah, that was way back in Springfield when uh, we were using Alberta to scan people. Uh, huh. I came up with fake too, but I never bothered with it. Because I never got... I just never bothered with it, so... I don't remember this. I, I know, I know that, Valmoric. Uh-huh, and why are you... I've never seen you before. My question stands, well, who the fuck wrong. are you? Well, our Nos us Nosferatu are specialized in not being seen, you know. Right. What is the prince's name? <laughs> <laughs> they are meanwhile slowly moving forwards. That's so fucked up, man. <laughs> I doubt I can make a roll on this. I really don't think you could. You have no way of knowing. Well, uh... My sire... Doesn't deem me worthy enough to know. <laughs> run! 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 Okay, you want to run. Yes. Okay, she's gonna rush forward. And she's had used three celerity actions to just chase you down and chunk, chunk, chunk. Oh, boy. But there's hope. There's hope. Let's... Actually, before I do that, let's see how much blood she has left in her. Oh, uh, no, she had a chance to feed. Oh, <laughs> uh, you couldn't have rolled a one on that like everyone else? <laughs> nope. Let's just quickly check her generation. Oh yeah, right. She can only go up to that much. She's fully filled. Yay! Hope. <laughs> yeah, the Bruja is gonna do the same. Just gonna chase you down and chop at you with an axe. Yeah. Hey, you can totally suck this, right? Sucking builds always work out, right? Yeah.
Okay, so you want to just take off running at full speed. Yeah. I think she can make it within range to stab at you with her main action. But once you start running, these fuckers should... Like, you'll only be dealing with two, it's fine, you ought to experience them. You'll, you'll live, right? Not really, no. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, soak builds totally work out tonight. I have shit for soak, so... Don't you have, like... You actually have a pretty decent soak. Yeah, but soak builds don't work, right? Yeah. You kind of... You shouldn't have said you were gonna run. You should have gone, said, I go around the corner and obfuscate. That could have worked. I was, oh. I, I, was actually, I was actually thinking about that, but I doubt I would have, they would see me before I got a chance to, so. You'd have and probably had an even better chance if you had actually went, look, uh, I don't actually know who the prince's uh, name is yet. I haven't been, you know. You could have tried to yeah. talk uh, with uh, those roles. my... You could call up my leader real quick. He might come clear things up if you want. What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> but Baltimore, you know I'm not smart enough to think of that. Yes, yes, I'm aware. You do have common sense. I'm gonna be extremely yeah. generous and say that you would realize before taking off running that that could be a very bad idea. <laughs> So do I say what Baltimore says, or not? It's up, up to, to you. you. What do you wish to say? They're still creeping yeah, forward I'll... slowly. I guess I'll say I can call up my sire and see if he knows, because I haven't actually been told the name of the prince yet. I'm fairly new. You're not calling anyone. <laughs> what do you think? We're stupid. We know about that fucking stone monster smashing everything. The The what? Control manipulation I, I, subterfuge to fake not knowing. Man. That's pretty wow. good. Oh, really? Yeah, nope. You probably shouldn't be here. City is at war. I'm sure you've heard. I, I, I needed a hunting thing. I just I needed a quick drink, you know. I see. I see. Where are you from? My city. Yes. Yes. Where are you from? <laughs> Stay right where you are. People moving around makes me twitchy. I'm from uh, I'm from Cuba, you know. Back at least the that's where I hailed from. But now I live here. Uh -huh. That's that's wonderful. So Wow, it looks like your face rotted off. That's I don't think I've ever seen a Nosferatu look quite like that. That's really exotic. Disgusting, but really? exotic. This is exactly what my sire looks like. Do they? Oh my, that's such a rare look for a Nosferatu. It's the end of me, guys. <laughs> Yeah, it's very strange, but you know, don't really care about my appearances. You know, you are in the prince's city. It would be nice for you to actually meet him. You could have a chat. Why don't you come with us? Right now. Oh, and give me your phone. <laughs> Shouldn't I call my sire first? No, 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 no. We'll handle this in a moment. It's fine. All right. Sure, why not? Do you hand over the phone? Yeah. Demi? Jackalore? Roll your Auspex rating at 8 to sense that your friend is in deep shit. Yeah, boy. 
Uh, what's the difficulty of that? Eight? Eight. Eight. Nope. I know nothing, apparently. Hey. He's just fine. Jackalore. Someone harpooned Baldemore out of the sky. You need to get back right now. He's surrounded. He's in a fucking web. Shit, shit. Gotta find Baldemore. <laughs> hey, Chris. Chris, on our way there, can I roll a, you know, spell roll to slip away from them? Somehow? I mean, I'm sure the difficulty will be high as fuck. Uh, Demi, you sense yes. that something is off, and you even know which direction Laren went off on. And I sense it's from that direction? Well, you know which direction he went when he went looking for prey. So you can't head in that general direction and try and find him. Right. Uh, <clears throat> you know, j just to uh, confirm my suspicions, uh, let let's call him up. The phone rings. Oh, that must be my turn. <laughs> she <laughs> puts it... Actually, does she know how? Yes, she does have a dot in computer. She puts it on speaker. Looks at you expectantly. Ah, hello, sir. I assume you're calling about the thing that you had me do. <laughs> what do you say, um... Demi? <laughs> okay, so I sense the danger. And um, this is Lyron being very suspicious. Um, I'm going to react where, where, where the hell did you go? Uh, well, when you sent me on that errand, I uh, decided to stop for a quick drink, and uh, these, uh, I'm assuming kindred fellas stopped me and are taking me to see the prince, since you haven't done it yet, you idiot. Kindred fellows? Wait, yeah. don't tell me they're just a bot. Raw manipulation subterfuge, <laughs> Gwyn. <laughs> God. <laughs> that shit. you better have good uh, in that shit. I have four dice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, difficulty? Six. Six. <coughs> oh, okay. Three success. Woo! 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 Alright, she hands you back the phone. Alright then. Sorry to have bothered you. Do check in with the prince. Let's go, boys. Take your head off! <laughs> Leaving you completely alone. I'm gonna go around a corner and obfuscate. <laughs> Holy fuck, boy. <laughs> I, want, I love you. I was so gonna stab you if Demi didn't beat her. Thank God. Chris, you, you are so generous. <laughs> I should have died there, man. You succeeded on three. Oh, well, you succeeded on two subterfuge rolls, and Demi succeeded on another one. That was enough to. <laughs> to get them to just let I'm you go, to, even with the suspicious they were. At least I'm not a dumbass and didn't say I was some other clan or something, like, by accident. Yeah, you I'm, I'm, a I'm actually happy that I thought of the correct clan on, like... <laughs> she has ten dice in melee with a sword. You are such a lucky sob. Oh, I am. Shit. Full <laughs> fail. Alright, time to go back to the back now! Shit bricks, shit bricks, shit bricks! Just running! Just fuck, 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 uh, fuck, fuck! Uh, j just one question. Uh, I presume that he didn't, like, instantly uh, hang up, so did I hear the girl say that? Yep. O okay, then I'm gonna wait and, like, may possibly call again in, like, five minutes. Okay. Yeah, I'll answer whenever I know I'm fucking safe. Okay, you may speak to each other then. Gwen, I owe you my life. 
This is, what the fuck happened? Well, I was feeding, but uh, he screamed a little bit too loud, and I got stomped by our ambushed by a couple of uh, Camberlet bastards. I assume some of them are of the uh, clan of Bruja, since they seem to look the part. I tried to convince them that I was an Esperanto through Camarilla. Then they asked me what the prince's name was, and I told them that uh, I hadn't known yet, and that my sire has the, has yet to tell me. You called sort of just in time. Thank God you rolled with it. Well, thank Cain. Yeah, so, get your ass back here before you get into more trouble, will ya? Yep, I plan on it. Great. No, no. more. Aaron, you rush around the corner and you see Baldemore just casually talking to his puppies. <laughs> okay, I was wrong. Nothing is wrong here. Okay. Also, where the fuck is Lyran? <laughs> you s- yeah, I'll be heading back. Uh, you, do, you don't see him there, but you do see uh, Gwen talking into her phone. Mm, whatever. So, I wait for Lyran to come back. A few minutes later, he comes back. Jesus fucking Christ. (laughs) (laughs) Thank good that uh, you ran into a uh, you ran into a Camarilla hunting pack. Um. So when Lyran comes back, when Lyran comes back, I'm gonna you know approach him and go like um. So, I kind of, you know, just possibly saved you, you know? I, I expect <laughs> yeah. that one day, you know, you'll repay that gratitude if anything happens to me, right? <laughs> He's shaking also, you we down! Never we, we never wrote Baldur writing. Still. Yes, you should do that. Like, guys. My character was going to save you anyways. He's very honorable. Whatever. Yeah, but this is a confirmation that if you don't save me, well, shit, you're useless as bricks. You did. Uh, I mean, you can't say much of your I'm, I'm not sure how often that is you, actually... Uh, I'm not sure how often that is, like, strictly adhered to inside of packs, though. Because you're supposed That's, to be helping this? each other as well, and this is a part of ongoing well, yeah, operations. Yeah, but we're not officially a pack yet, so I'm just gonna use mm. this to my benefit while As I far can. as I'm no, concerned, the Valdari supposed... would have happened, like, while you were down there at the latest. You would have done it by now. Mm-hmm. But you ah, just okay, have a call then. for if it. That's the... Ah, if that's the case, then let's roll it. Like, uh, we're gonna wait for it. Pack rates aren't, I think, counted for stuff, because they're supposed to support each other. So, what do I roll? Uh, uh, manually roll uh, four d10s for Waldry rating. We'll go... Um, do, uh, do you, let, let's first line ourselves up so we know who, what is what and who is who. Just use the avatars at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So, you get six for me, three for the bacon, five for epic, and ten for demi. God damn it, you guys. Well, we hate you. Yeah, I hate you. Well, uh, my Walter rating by, with uh, uh, Epic just reduced by one. That's good. Oh, okay. I like Baltimore even more. No, that's not possible. Epic? I'm back. Oh. I like, Epic. I love bacon. I love bacon too. When uh, did oh, you I'm leave? at like, real life. Huh? I thought, yeah, I put be right back, right up on there. Oh, yo, you should you should have been there. Oh right. <laughs> Demi saved Lyran's hide so hard. So none of the idiots died again yet. All right. Hey, I hey, I actually did something good. I'm actually being pretty good this session. <laughs> they between two job, of them Demi. talk their way out of Lyran as a unknown vampire just being in a Cameral city in time of war. And they just let him go. They talk their way out of it. They talk their way out of it? Yeah. There was like um, four people so, on him. Ready to so size the pieces. Basic, 
Valmoric pretended to be a Nosferatu who didn't know his, you know, sire's name, which is aka you know, the prince. And then I called because called uh, because um, my auspex got at least one, so I wanted to confirm suspicions. Called up Valmoric, uh, saw that Lyran was, you know, acting strange, and went with it. And basically, I acted the prince. Well, no, you acted well, like acted his, his sire. sire, not the prince. Oh, sire, not the prince. Okay, I thought his yeah. sire was going to be the prince because he didn't know the name no. exactly. No, he said he didn't know the name of the prince, but his sire knew. And, ah. and stuff like that. I think Lyron saw his life flash before his eyes there. To be fair, I did get really good rolls on my subterfuge, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> oh shit, this also goes for my path. Oh, this is sweet. Well, you have to actually talk to him about increasing your path, I think, from that. Yeah, this still takes a little bit more, but it's good what I did. And I just realized that uh, my path actually boons wouldn't, in between our packs, wouldn't be necessary. Yeah, never mind. Ignore what I wanted to do the boon before, uh, because I didn't know that we did the Evaldry rating. Also, yeah. like, yeah, yeah bo boons between are not epic. counted. I want you to roll for Valdery rating, just so that we finally have that noted down. Oh, we're, we're finally doing that. All right. Yeah, we're assuming that you like did it at some point gone. in the source, and just we are just establishing the values now. All right. I presume that too. Six, uh, five, one, seven. So well, you I don't give a flying fuck about Gwyn. She's just cannon fodder. <laughs> Wow, even though he liked when I fucking blew that guy's brains up. Fucking rude. But you actually like me, so even though you kicked my ass. Oh, I will kick your ass any day of the week, regardless of all the rewriting. Trust me, he will. It's for your own good, boy. Now get over here. I love you, Baldur. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't hit me anymore, Daddy. I'll be good. When will ah. you be good? <laughs> so, Lyran, you don't want to right. actually yeah. track the group that fucked with you with Obfuscate? No, I'm good. No, you're sure? Yeah, I'm positive. <laughs> okay. Just let's go to burn this fucking gangrel quickly. I don't want to spend time that we could be using the fuck with the gangrel and piss off all the war again. Yeah, we should really be going on the gangrels now. So that's, they seemed like they were very tough. <laughs> <laughs> they really weren't. They made a skeleton piss his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Spooky, scary skeletons. Well, if I if I had my Shoot. next friend from Autosis, I would fuck them up. You actually might have won that if you had that. Maybe you would have had a chance. But I don't have that, so run away. I'm just Remember, glad I didn't part of the Empire has always been being very unsure of exactly how big of a threat level anything is. Yep. So, you wish to head over to a gas station by the park then, I assume? We're having the police uh, temporarily take it over. Have the people stationed at the gas station to start letting the gas flow through the lines. And then we're just filling all kinds of gas canisters and everything. Mm hmm. Bottles, Molotovs, just any kind of container. Okay. Let's see. Oh, this definitely is a bad one for you. Jacklord, roll a luck die. Eight or above, there's an actual tanker in the station. 
Wow. <laughs> okay, you have a tanker. <laughs> it hasn't fully been unloaded even. Oh my. Sweet. In that case... Uh, wait, it's right next to their territory, isn't it? It's yeah. pretty damn close, yes. It's like right here. Hmm. Alright, guys. Get in it. Uh, we still take over the gas station temporarily and start filling it up as much as we can. Just order Gwyn to drive then... it in there and light the match. You don't give a fuck, right? <laughs> I'll do a little bit better than that with a full-on tanker. Uh, I'm going to have uh, Baltimore actually uh, try and shove one of his clawed fingers into uh, like six spots, three on each side, so it's leaking. Then I get uh, one of the two of the police officers to start driving it around the forest, and then they're ordered to go into it. And well, they need to light it up, however they wish to do so, but they need to light it up. I will be above them, and actually have a Molotov ready. You try to show concern in your stony face for their lives, but... <laughs> and Chris, I just... Then I, uh, actually, I will tell them that once they get there, uh, once they actually drive the tanker through, they can run out and get away, and I'll actually drop a Molotov about 30 seconds afterwards, so be ready for a boom. Right. Uh, what I wanted to ask, Chris, is uh, these nearby buildings, are they more, mostly suburbs, or...? You can... It's pretty low-rise, but you can find something that's like six floors up to give you an overview of a good chunk of the uh, park. Um, I'm gonna see with Baltimore if uh, it's okay if I go to one of those high... and get a vantage point. If I see anything suspicious, I'll communicate with him instantly. Sure. Okay. Uh, nope. If you want, you could even try and take a shot at the tanker after they've left it. Okay. Sure. Okay. Alright. I want you to... Give me perception alertness. Are you scanning the trees with your scope, or are you trying to use your aspects in acute sight to first pinpoint a thing? Um, let's first get a wide overview with the um, uh, aspects and uh, acute sense of sight, and then if we see and notice, notice anything, and uh, you know, scope in and secure it. Okay. I so perception you... alertness with difficulty? Uh, let's call it a base of 8, so it goes down to like... 4. Okay then. Wow! <laughs> Holy shit! More. Give me a perception what? alertness roll. Jesus fucking Christ, you shoot yourself in the head. I oh, know he's no, I'm... You see a uh, figure moving, tracking the truck, and you see it uh, accelerating in the trees, trying to catch up to it. That's obviously a gang girl, shoot it. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, Demi doesn't gang. see it. Baltimore does, though. I definitely don't see it. And it actually has blood in its system. I'm just not caring too much, to be honest. <laughs> just leave it be? Well, if it catches up to the tanker, uh, if it starts actually closing distance, maybe I'll do something about it, but right now you're just saying it's chasing it. It is, but... Good luck! Um, well, let's see. Let's give it a Dex Athletics roll to see if it can actually jump on. If it gets close enough to jump it, I am going after it. But... Okay, yeah, it is... The tanker isn't moving too swiftly, and 
as it takes various corners, it does look like it's slowly closing the distance. Makes some sense. In that case, uh, I might as well just be ready for it. Uh, my claws are still out, right? Sure. If you haven't put them away, they're still out. All right. Uh, make sure chameleon skin gets activated too. Ding ding. And last but not least, I will buff my dex by three. All right. So I'm just gonna get ready for when it look when he appears about ready to pounce. I'm gonna slime into him. Okay. Uh, make me a roll for a stealth attack from above then. Stealth attack from above! <laughs> Death from above. If you want to uh, put your claws into play, I will give, three, give you three extra damage dice on those because it's awkward to leverage quite as much force as you would if you were just doing a full body slam. Oh, so, you mean just trying to do and basically try a, an instant kill instead of trying to yeah, grapple you him can, and all that? Yeah, you can attempt to just slam into him close first or you can try and do your usual grapple attack. Well, yeah, I'd love to do it claws first. Okay. Then we're assuming you're doing it that way. Have fun with the rolls. Don't fuck up. Alright. <laughs> oh. From above! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Baltimore with claws! Oh no, they can't see anything. You're obfuscated. And that would be a five. So add four to it. Four. Sorry, doing quick calculations and all that. Alright. All right. Well, let's see how it goes. Okay. And that is six. Mm, six. So which specialty are you using to make it six? Uh, you just said, uh, I'm just ba basing this on claws, uh, counting on my specialty, which is what you said before. So powerful arms. You're not really yeah. using powerful arms here, though. You're doing a, you're just locking your arms in place and slamming him in full flight, though. All right. Sure. It's four, then. More lethal. Yeah. I mean, they're gangrel. How much so could they have, really? Generally, not too much. <laughs> well, if they want to spend it on other things, then. But I think they have at least like five or six dice of so soak. Why would they have five or six dice? Uh, I, I have, don't know. I have, I have dice and soak, and I have a Semeti. Don't they, uh, uh, don't the uh, normal gangrels, camarilla gangrels have fortitude? They do. No. Yeah. They do? It's when? Since always. Uh, I just play VTM Bloodlines and I literally just learned that from there. And with yeah, some fortitude and protein. Oh my gosh, I thought they had, uh, potent, not fortitude. <clears throat> no, that fortitude. Okay, yeah. good now. Yeah, I thought they had potents. Hmm, surprise. Why did they have potents? You know what? It's because every PC I ever play with always proclaims they are a city gangrel or some derivative of it. And they always switch out <laughs> fortitude for something. I think they will have, like, obfuscate. And celerity. Yeah. yeah, instead. So, make the damage roll. I already did. I thought the first one was for the stealth bonus and the second was for the attack. Oh my gosh, I forgot how to do this. You're right. Uh, Epic. So Let me yeah, double check it, that 
that one right there. That was a uh, Dex Brawl. Uh, you're right. You're right. Wait, I think I might have forgotten that part. Four, five from Celerity. <laughs> so not up the bar. Nine. That's a nine right there. So not up the bar. Uh, Brawls four. Yeah, yeah, that should actually be right. Okay. I accidentally did it right. <laughs> so not up to par. You're to bad and you should feel bad. <laughs> now I need to do oh, my no. strength. <laughs> I love how when Epic, whenever Epic's not up to par, he actually does extremely good. It's just not fair. Dude, <laughs> you just escaped rolling a new character. Or... Yeah. But I was actually up to par. No, it was that you were about to die until I gave you a freebie based uh, on common sense. And that was generous, and you know it. And yeah, I know it was. Alright. Or again. Sweet. Well, you oh, do some damage. damage. <laughs> Just wheels around on you. It's very clearly very bestial. You see another shadow rushing the car. It tries to jump it and you see it go under the wheels. Oh god. <laughs> um, seeing as Baltimore uh, smashed and whatnot, even uh, would I notice this because my auspex was activated? Oh shit. Some of the dice. <laughs> they take oh. four points of bashing. Crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> Seriously, that was bashing damage? Yes, yeah, that was bashing damage. Yeah, because fucking truck. Multiple times. <laughs> oh. That, that would be lethal because it would be crushing his head as well. So they used to have, well, seven blood points since... They would have activated claws, but <laughs> they seem slightly damaged now. <laughs> and Demi, at this point, you you do see them. And I see one getting under the car, and I'm just like, ouch. Um, seeing as Baltimore's dealing with one, and one is under the truck, uh, I'm going to look like around the area of the truck, seeing if any other gangrel might appear. Uh, I let's put everyone in the initiative then. Uh, and right. if you want uh, to spend a combat action looking around for more, that's entirely up to you. Well, I know Baltimore's strong, so he probably has that guy, right? And one is under a truck. <laughs> well, the truck well, is over him, and he's slowly picking himself up. You and your fucking insane fucking dice. <laughs> Wait. Your Auspex is active, right? Well, Morik, uh, Demi, yeah. roll contested Auspex, uh, obfuscate roll. I did. Stop fucking arguing in front of me, you cheeky bastard. I'm um, not in front of you. Um, six dice, it was uh, difficulty seven or eight? Seven. Wait, yeah, you have two Auspex, so it's seven for you. No, yeah, you're no. supposed. You're fine. You don't That's see so anyone. Awesome. You're supposed right, to roll at so seven, Valmoric. Yeah. Yep. You're invisible. It's fine. But yeah, he, he, uh, Demi just botched his roll. Yes, but oh. it's a contested roll. That just means he's not going to be detecting him until he deobfuscates voluntarily. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. So you said, said the guy under the truck has started to get up? Like, right now the scene is the truck has run him over and is moving on. There's one face to face with Baldemore, claws out on both of them. And there's one prone on the ground with claws out where the truck has passed over him. Given a couple of turns, he's probably going to be at Baldemore as well. Uh, right, then, um, just asking, what's the distance between me and, and the, would that be enough to proc the 1,000 meter killer? Uh, what does that do? That just doubles your range, right? Um, uh, minus one from sniper rifles, too, uh, when he fires yeah. them, but 
Basically, yeah. So you want the minus one for sniping. Like, is it far enough away for that to kick in? Well, really, he just needs to actually aim to proc the minus one. Because that part is actually aiming. And ah, he's actually yes. prone. Uh, the range of um, the rifles, so. you, you can spend a turn aiming at one of them if you wish. And that would kick it in. But they are within range for you to take essentially a normal difficulty shot. With a scope, you can... You can... Do I just shoot them from that far away? Right. Um, would I be able to use uh, just like one celerity action, use quietus and then aim? No, can't, you don't can't use celerity it. actions for yeah. disciplines. Yeah. Right. Could I then use my main action and then the one celerity to aim then? No, you can't. Celerity aiming is a okay. full action. It takes. A full turn. Yeah, it's okay, celerity um, gives you physical actions. I would say that aiming is more of a mental one in for the purposes of this. Definitely. Right, then I'm going to prep myself for battle. Uh, I'm going to just be using Quietus 1 and so I can conceal my position. Okay. All right. Let me just give them numbers appropriate to their station uh, generic two and three eh? <laughs> don't worry there's nothing climbing up the wall next to you Demi all right so generic three is gonna Stand up and heal a point. I think he can do that while standing up. Makes I sense. So. I don't see a reason why not. Yeah. Hmm. Generic 2. Well, he doesn't have a lot to spend blood on. He will roll to heal while attacking Baltimore with claws. Let's see. Do we want to split yeah. this? We'll split it two ways. Because fuck you in particular. Okay, so he's doing two attacks? Yep. Alright, so in that case, uh, yeah, I think I'll go about it like this. I will spend one point to increase my strength, spend another point to activate potence, spend my last point to activate celerity, and get him twice. Oh, you son Sweet. of a bitch. You're a mean person. I don't like you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay so he has a chance to fuck with you because if you don't kill him with your first attack so have at it yes but having at it sure truck is old slowly old. turning the corner with a screech accelerating now <laughs> And first attack. Gods be good. Don't worry. It's just a three. Only two bonus. That means go up to that. But you have like three cele uh, three done. potents. That's the bit that really sucks. Yeah, that is the thing, ain't it? Yeah, that's the, the cream on top. <laughs> so, so, five, six, seven. Seven lethal points. So that reduces it to Ouch. five. He has one health left. And another attack. <laughs> okay, spending willpower, because fuck wound penalties. <laughs> I mean, these are just generic scrubs, right? They're meant to die, right? It's okay. okay you got one. Two. Good, um, good. Um, let me roll to see if he can heal a point, because he was gonna try, and he can. He did. Not that he's good gonna job. help much. <laughs> okay, we'll so... See. We'll see. Four, potential ag, and five. Please soak. God, that's pitiful. 
I soaked the first one. Soaked the second one. Even rolling two ones! Whatever! <laughs> <laughs> okay, make your second attack, you son of a bitch. Ah, I will. Thank you. Okay. And that's eight. So you're saying there is a chance. Oh wow! He soaked six. Unfortunately, that was his last two. That was his last two health levels anyway. He falls over <laughs> face first. Looks like he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you want to try and see if he's faking? Actually, you would have to. Ah. You'd probably have to check also, if you don't want to rush the other one right away. I figured I'd probably rush the other one, to be honest. Oh, so yeah. wasn't someone aiming? Or does that, no, that was me. Then he somebody was actually time. wasn't aiming. They were activating Quietus 1. Yep. Yes, oh. and I'm going to be aiming next turn. Before Baltimore already kills him. Okay, so next turn. Uh, I will be aiming at uh, Gangrel Generic 3. Yep. In the head, of course. Um, generic 2 is gonna be spending a point to heal health level quietly while staying on the ground and hiding his ravaged midsection from any observers. <laughs> Okay, Generic 3 had healed a health level. I need to adjust his stats. Um, he, it would take you, like you would need to take a full turn to get to him. So if you want to attack him this turn, you could spend a slayer action, or you could attack him next turn. He's not going to be rushing to meet you. I rush to meet him. Nice to meet you. <laughs> So actually, yeah, he's gonna be oh. healing and, you know, he's gonna be defensive and try to heal at the same time. If you, just in case you rush him straight at him, he wants to fix himself up before fighting you. Because you're a big son of a bitch. Yeah. Probably a decent idea. Uh, so... Yeah, essentially you can get close enough with your main action that you can attack him with your celerity action. Alright. That goes so, back to this again. Let me see if he can do that. He can. Alright. Why? So he's going full defensive, right? Yeah, he's just turtling up and healing. Alright. So let's see how well I try and hit him. Not very well. He could dodge. Yes, he might. Oh, wait. No, he has wound penalties, which means that he's at a minus one. Nope, it connects. All right. All right. So it connects. So here's the good news for him. It was only one success. It's unlikely to do too much damage with the soak. Here's the bad news. Hence count for that. Oh, three. Damn it. Motherfucker. Okay, two. <laughs> Why do you do this to me? <laughs> So, Demi, you are carefully aiming at Gangrel 3 through your scope, right? Yes. Okay. Good. Uh, Gangrel 3 
Uh, he's gonna try and heal and double attack Baldemore. Okay. Anything else? No, uh, Gangrel 2 is doing stuff, but you are not paying attention to him, as far as I know. Okay. That's fine. So that means this turn. I think I'm just going to go for a celerity action to try and hit him. Mm hmm. So two attacks. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, Gwyn. Voldemort looks I like I will he's... be uh, shooting. I will be shooting Gangrel Generic 3 in the head. Okay. Then you may fire. Okay, uh, because of my uh, David's arms, my aiming counts like extra dice. So basically, I'd have. Twice over. Dice. That's fine. I know how it works. So with no, the scope, you have a total dice. of four extra dice because I think you've aimed for one turn now. Yeah. yeah. So it's uh, four extra dice. You said. So that means it's from thirteen yeah. to seventeen. Um, aiming through the head, uh, adding thousand killer. Uh, how? What is the difficulty? Seven. Jeez, I'm just asking. But Ask you've done the people. several simulations. Hey, I'm just 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 in case. So a and total of is... twelve damage dice. No, seventeen. Oh wait, that's right, twelve. My bad. Baltimore. Three lethal. He falls to the ground. Can't entirely tell if he's completely fucked or not. He seems to still be trying to move. Would it be possible to try and hit him, then go for the other one, or not? It the other one is too far away. You would have to spend far time uh, covering the distance. Damn it! Of course. Now my turn action economy is fucked up, and I can't tell what to do. That's because Demi is not up to par. <laughs> Do you wish to take the attack and put him in torpor? Well, yeah, sure, I'll take that, but I still have a celerity action after that. I, of course, you know, had to declare what that was, which was hit him again, and I don't really want to actually kill him like that. I'd rather try and grab him, if anything. You don't have Shelly, to... the plan was to go to the other guy. You don't have to final death him. If that's what you're worried about. I was gonna go for the other guy, if you know, I could, but... Like I said, there's a... Works. There's a bit of uh, distance between you. That mm. was a lot of damage. Just... <laughs> just trap your... Claws through his neck and he just claws at your hand for a moment and effectually that the lights go out in his eyes. <laughs> well, I still have a celerity action, but I'd rather not use it for attacking well we have discussed this before i used to allow people to just abort select actions that aren't used but it then just goes to the ether sure it goes to the ether okay i fucking hate next turn check the other guy out you just see an empty spot of ground there. Yeah. Really? Yep. Did Demi see what happened? No, he didn't. 
he was oh. looking through the scope at the other one and there was enough distance through them that he couldn't catch both of them in the field of view. Well, yeah, I know what's going on. I'm just saying, yeah, Demi is not being up to par in any real way. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Epic, we're never up to par. Don't you know this by now? So, what do you want to do? Screw it. I guess I'm just going to drain this guy. Okay. You can get five blood you points from him. Do you wish to diablerize him as well? Of course I'm going to diablerize him. Okay. Then uh, start rolling. Alright. So because he's torpored and everything, it's just difficulty 8, right? Yep. It's not a contested roll like it would be with a awake enemy. Right. So. Spend a willpower point! <laughs> okay. Don't want risk fucking up, eh? Would I? Okay, just I'm give me the saying, rolls then. Right. Okay, so that's, that's three successes. That's not quite enough. All right, so another one. Yep, you spending another willpower. Okay. Yep. Okay. Spend my willpower like candy if I need to. I mean, this is your chance in the campaign to go nuts, and that is enough. Uh, you... Uh, you would get protein, I think, since you have plenty of pro uh, fortitude. You could spend willpower Yay! to change that to animalism, but you can get a level of protein. If you Wait, wish. I'll just, take my, uh, I'll just take oh, my level of protein. How much protein do they have? Uh, Is it enough? Out of character, you know that for someone of higher generation to give you a discipline you don't already have, the difference has to be like they have to have three dots at least. Yo, yeah. oh yeah, they did have like enough to do the earth belt, so yeah, they would have. Oh. Not yet. He just gets the first level, which means he can get seen in the dark now. Finally, I have glowing red eyes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I have to put this in other traits. I have so many disciplines. <laughs> the caitiff will never believe that you are not one of the princes now. Even your eyes glow red. <laughs> like the other one. <laughs> Holy crap, they're just like the Camarilla. <laughs> How many blood points do I get off him? What do you have left? Five? Alright. Look I at did... that! I I'm did decide that there I would be. At, shit. I did decide that there would be at least one here, and I rolled for three others. Uh, so there could be as many as four here. So up to you how you wish to take that. Have fun. There can be as many as what? As many as total four in this park tonight. Only as four in this park tonight. Well, we're burning it down, so. But first of all, I'm just going to go over and double check real quick on this, uh, no, this little spot of gra ground, where he used to be. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try and smash it up just a little bit, make sure he's not trying to pull anything like that. Let me read up on the description for that, if he was using that. That would be Baltimore's guess on what he would do. So. Would Baltimore know Whether about that, it. since it's a clan-specific ability? Why don't you give me I'd Intelligence say... Occult at 6? Because you don't sure. have necessarily that much knowledge of the specifics of the rarer stuff. That's true. Most of it comes from uh, the Tremere, so... Look. Oh, what does that mean? He must have disappeared. He has Officer Kate! <laughs> uh, you notice what you think might be a trail leading into the woods. He's gone back to the center where it's safe. Don't worry, he'll See. burn with the rest. Good. Must burn with the rest then. 
start flying, redo, obfuscate, uh, get to the truck. And the truck <laughs> seems to have traveled around, and the cops are just turning onto a road slash pathway that leads towards the center of the park. So yeah, they are moving there slowly. Then they get out and start running like crazy. Good job. Uh, count to 30. Get out the Molotov that I should have with me. Does Baldemar know how to count to 30? What's your intelligence score? Oh, it's two. two. Sure, you know how to count. It's not like a 1, 6, 11, 112, 30! <laughs> Uh, so they should have a chance of getting out. <laughs> Maybe. 30 seconds isn't a lot. This is a pretty big park. Oh, yes, it is. But I gave them a head start. That's all they needed, right? <laughs> they can do it. I'm debating. Yes, I might have just killed two of the cops, but hey. Ouch! You see the tank disintegrate a few seconds after you toss the Molto on it. There's flying shrapnel everywhere. You see a sheet of metal spin out and slice through the cops running away in the distance. Hmm, alright. <laughs> Speaking of which, I think I want you to roll some soak here. That's alright. I figured I'd probably have to as well, to be honest. So, first of all, let's roll for the actual explosion. So, what do you think? Baltimore is a fair ways above, so how many lethal dice should it be? Something like seven? Uh, eight? Don't I can easily it... justify eight. Eight lethal dice, at least. Okay, that's crap. Okay. Oh, yeah, I default to this. And I will need you to soak two turns of being inside an actual fireball. Because... Well, let's think. Well, the You're fireball thinking... shouldn't reach me too massively, but it will, it will get to me too. Yeah, it's... I think two turns is justified because the... Heated air will kind of fuck with your flight patterns as well. So there's a yeah, bit yeah. of a turbulence, so it takes a few seconds for you to actually, you know, get control of your flight again. Okay. Uh, how much, uh... I'll just roll for it and you'll tell me what I get, I suppose. Yeah. I, I, you halved and rounded up, right? Yes, halved and rounded up. Okay, give me uh, the rolls then. How hot hey, would this be? I... You're pretty high up, so I think a base of seven at most. At most? That seems a little high for this kind of... From being so high up, more than anything. Hmm. Well, let me think. Uh, I can personally assume say that... six, but that's just personally. Seven's fine, too. Well, yeah, I'm going to say seven because... There's a lot of trees in the way, so you kind of have to hover not as high as you normally would to get a good angle. And I want to damage you, you crazy fuck. Apparently not today. Can't damn it. Don't worry, I have other plans. Good so, for you. So, today's butcher's bill. You've killed one enemy vampire. Congratulations. <laughs> also, Valdemar, add six bums to your kill list. All right. Win. The 
there's a big ass explosion. You see Baltimore engulfed in fire. What do? I, I already saw him being engulfed in fire once. He should be okay. If you aim for a wing, you might be able to knock him out of flight straight into the mess. This is your chance. Um, <laughs> no, that goes against my path. No, thank you. What's a conscience roll versus getting rid of him? <laughs> a terrible so, idea. Uh, instead, what I want to do is, uh, seeing as the fire goes on, uh, I'm going to scout around again once more to see if any possible gang will react to it. It tries to flee to the area or something. Mm, you don't see any. But you could just have a crappy angle. Or just be a complete and utter failure at using Auspex. I, I, yeah, that's true. I mean, you are not up to par. <laughs> what about the rest of you as you watch the explosion? Around just Do we have to roll not check. <gasps> Baltimore. Roll no, rod track. Roll rod track. Oh, it singed you. I want you. <laughs> Give me rod track. It's rolls. true. Uh, the rest Rotrek of you. rolls engaged. A Baltimore rolls at. Well, actually, you're in flight, so you feel relatively safe. So it's seven. Those of you watching from a distance, make it a five. Since you're. Um. Uh, rod track was uh. Courage. courage right. Mm-hmm. Need one more. One more success. Oh, fuck me. I'm uh, good. Okay. I'm not. My path rating might have actually gone up at this point. Boot, I'm fine. Uh, how much courage I have? Whoa, for the first time, I don't have five courage. It's it's fine. How bad could it be? Gwyn, did you get any success it's on difficult. that, or did you immediately botch? Or sorry, fail? Uh, that was minus one. He immediately minus failed. Minus Laren, you just watch Gwyn see the explosion, freeze for a second, then go ah! and jump off the other side uh, of the building. He doesn't hear me. I had quietness on. <laughs> You just see her trying to scream, but it doesn't make any noise, and she jumps off the other side. <laughs> Technically, me and Aaron don't need to act. Uh, not me. me and Val didn't actually need to roll because we have five. Michael goes running for the lake. And no, you do <laughs> need to roll. I'm not giving you auto successes on this because I'm. I, well. No, no, fuck you. You get to roll because oh. fuck you. Yeah, I rolled all five successes. We both did. Michael, you see Michael go diving into the lake. I follow him to make sure he doesn't die horribly. No, Gwyn. I have two turns, so before I dive into the lake, yeah. I take off my weapons and ammo and okay. go dive in the lake. <laughs> Gwyn, give me a luck roll. Oh, 1d10? Yep. <laughs> Rolled so lethal. <sighs> Take three points of lethal damage. So, three lethal? Yeah, Laren, you see Gwen down below with a wooden plank impaled through her chest. She seems frozen in place. What do? <laughs> I go and pull up the thing from her chest. She goes running off screaming. Oh, she's okay. I'll follow. I'll keep following her until uh, make sure she doesn't fuck up horribly or somebody tags her. <laughs> she just runs past five trucks screaming. Ah! Fire! You see the fireman just put on grim expressions and continue driving. <laughs> yeah, I just keep following her. 
So you oh, jump off after her? Oh wait, yeah, you could have made it down safely, it's fine. So yeah, that, that forest is, uh, that park is, uh, real fucked. Here's the important question. Do your cartels scatter? I'm gonna roll one for each. If they succeed, they're fine. Just avoid rolling fully for every single one of them. They enjoyed the light show. Uh, the puppies break open the doors of the car and just wreck it in the process of getting out. They saw daddy engulfed in fire. They see him in a panic until they see him fly out. Untouched. Unfazed. <laughs> Uh, and I'll just base a babysit my uh, Ross checking Michael Donovan. Oh, you you want to follow him into the lake? No, I want to follow him, make sure he doesn't die horribly. Oh no, well, he just jumps in the lake jumping. pretty much. He just beelines for the lake and jumps in. Okay, I'll just stand on the shore and waiting for him to get out. Of <laughs> You see him oh, come up, peek out. everyone going for a lake? <laughs> um, I'd say you were too busy exploding. And from a distance, it's a pretty big crowd. You can't really tell that only two people are missing. Okay. Quinn doesn't seem to be on rooftop anymore. I wonder where her. she might have went. Ah, fire! But Gwyn, it's okay. You find a river. It seems to head in slowly in the general direction of Toluca. You can jump in and head home. So essentially there is this naked chick wearing only a Kevlar vest, loaded with guns, running for the water. Alright. Hey, you, you see a lot of things every day. <laughs> Laren, do you want to prevent her from throwing herself in the river? I mean... The guns might like come the, the bad. Idea. Uh, hey, 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 remember what I did for you, Scrub? <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, it's not like that's bad, right? Look, her guns might go bad. Actually, mm -hmm. Lyra, do you have any dots in firearms? You do. You do know that water is bad for guns. And you have common sense. Use it, motherfucker. <laughs> She, well, on the other hand, those guns will probably be fine if they're not down there too long, and she takes them apart and carefully cleans them afterwards. Probably. Those guns are some horribly, guns. horribly bad with water. They are if you try and fire them. And some of them are even bad just getting wet. But... There's also the I, mean, I guess I'll so... try to trip her. <laughs> what? Guess I'll try to trip her. Okay, first of all, I want you to roll Dex Athletics against each other. Okay. Uh, Dex Athletics against each other. Well, bitch, you came to the wrong turf. Actually, with my roll If now, you I win, fuck. then you lose out on your guns, you dumb fuck. Uh, five, three, that's eight, that's eleven. Uh, would Lightning Reflexes come here as a specialty? Uh, oh. This is to see if he can catch up with you. Ah, okay. Uh, that would apply, but he's still <laughs> faster. I have Swift, never mind. <laughs> Demi goes flying into the water with a cry of FIREBAT! <laughs> How long does it take to, for Michael to get out the river? Something like half an hour. Long enough for 
for it to have become Most clear that the fire won't spread to this part, to where you are immediately. But yeah, I'm going to call Baldemar and tell uh, tell him that. Uh, by the way, Michael, uh, the pre Michael went into the lake here, but like he should be fine. Demi. Michael went into the lake. Why'd Michael go into yeah. the lake? And also, just pick up his guns. Will you drop them off the, uh, by, uh, near the car? Gwyn, you Here. can, like in any frenzy, spend a willpower point to take some normal actions. If you spend a willpower point, I will allow you to make sure you don't lose the guns as you're flowing in the current. So one willpower and I don't get my guns fucked? Well, you will still need to roll dex athletics at 6. Because... It's pretty cumbersome carrying two full-sized firearms in the water while you're tumbling around in a panic. But that will give you like enough control to make sure they're strapped down properly before you lose control again. Right then. Fine. Alternatively, I'll, I'll say, I'll... <laughs> alternatively, you could go looking for them in the river afterwards if you lose them. Let's let's just let's just get them out of the water, shall we? Oh no, they're in the water. This is for you to not lose them in the water and have to go find them later, if you even could. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's let's not lose the guns, eh? I'll I'll use the one willpower. Uh, roll. Uh, so, Dex Athletics. Dex Athletics at six. You want six successes. Okay, the guns are strapped down. You are good, you're not gonna uh, lose them. You even managed to secure all the ammo, so that doesn't get fucked either. My, my kill rating is almost reading like a paragraph at this point. I think you're pretty much the before. only one that is still writing those down. I think everyone else has said fuck it at this point. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not like we get that many kills anyway. <laughs> they all go to Baltimore at the end. Well, yeah, you got some stormtroopers. Those were pretty nasty. Mm. But it's too late now. True. You didn't claim them when you had the chance. Okay. Well, the more do the backfield like helicopters and shit, so. So, shall we wrap up here? This seems like a good position. Pretty good yeah, position. Sure. <clears throat> uh, so. What has Gwyn learned? What has Gwyn learned? Maybe. Scoping in on a truck that's about to go in flames is a bad idea. <laughs> Why? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I could fling myself off a fucking building and go into a river. <laughs> oh, you, you weren't even necessarily scoping in at that point, but you could feel the heat from the explosion on your skin. It was a big it, fire. It was, a, it was pretty big. We scattered a bunch of gasoline around it first, and then had it go to the center, and then blew it up. It was pretty awesome. My two weeks later, when the rest of the gang all returned from the wilds, they're gonna be pissed. <laughs> they should be. They pissed us off. Yeah. God stuff. damn it. Every 15 fucking years. Okay. Lyron. What hath Lyron learned? Uh, stand back, don't talk. What has Baltimore learned? Baltimore has learned that Lyron also sucks. <laughs> Michael, what had thou learnt? He may be not up to par, but at least he can dominate mortals effectively. Aaron, 
What has Aaron learned? You're muted, Jack. Yeah. Apparently, uh, Michael Donovan is higher generation than me. Does that count? Sure. But he can't dominate at all. In any sure. Way, shape, or form. Sure. So, Gwen, what gives Gwen the courage to go on? <laughs> well, what gives Gwen the courage to go on? Um. Shit, what does Gwen give me the fucking courage? Um, for probably, probably, uh, Baltimore gives me courage and how great a goddamn leader he is. Okay. That's fine. And if Baltimore gets killed in the next, say, two sessions, I'm gonna take a will power point or two back for the soul-crushing horror you will experience. That works. <laughs> because here's the thing, that's a gamble I'll take, because when's Baltimore gonna die? Never. Alright. Just remember, these were the scrub gangrel. <laughs> okay, Lyron. What gives Lyron the courage to keep going? Voldemort's fist. <laughs> that would kind of... I'm not sure that would give you the courage to keep trying, though. It would motivate it gives you. Me the to... It motivates me, yeah. But... There's a reason why people who are forced to fight under a whip or threat of punishment don't fight well. So I'm not sure if that would count for willpower gain. It might count for willpower loss, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that would motivate you in the way that willpower measures exactly. Oh, all right. I guess the fact that Gwen saved his life and he wants to repay it. Okay. Baltimore. <laughs> Baltimore so. can keep... Well, well, his existence will continue to go on. His missions will slowly be completed. Objectives fulfilled. And he'll, he'll kill Tremere and other people to piss him off on the way. So, life is good right now. Life is good. <laughs> Michael. What gives Michael the courage to go on? Finally succeeding on something that he thought about it himself. Okay. Independent success. Yes, you did do well on that. He actually uh, spent Did I actually get uh, two points? We just took down, as far as we know, the Gangrel headquarters. We'll finish going around, and then we'll discuss nature and past stuff. Okay. So, um, Aaron, what gives Aaron the courage to go on? Hmm, let's think here. What happened this session? Mm -hmm. I think I'll pick... Uh, that, uh, that apparently... Even uh, that apparently he can... Nah, he, he doesn't fear things that even the priest fears. The fe priest seems like a scrub. <laughs> Finally, someone less competent than me. Uh... Okay. So, uh, write in chat how much status each of you have, if any. Uh, zero. Zero. Just write it down. Uh, it's zero. Okay. And Bacon has two. Uh, I'd say Bacon is like two thirds to the third point. Because he hasn't done much that is like independently noticeable. So actually, no. 
You did a lot of dominating when taking over the police station. Tracy would have talked about that. So I will say that each of you at this point, with the amount of chaos and noise you've caused, gain an extra point of status. All of us? Yes. You did say mine was actually pretty uh, on the edge of, uh, on status when you last awarded it too. Yes. So very close to three at that point. Yes, and it will put you like two thirds of the way to four, but it wouldn't be enough to put you at four quite yet. No, that's fine. I just wanted to check on where it, you know, filled up to. Yeah. Like, some zero status Baltimore has. He's looking up to par. Like, they had to light a fire under you to get to actually go over there, but from where they're standing, Having ghouls watch news and report to them, it looks like you're doing your job, at least to the elders a few cities away. Status 4. Powerful. A member of the Primogen slash a bishop. Yes. That's right. And he will probably gain it if, you know, that will probably, that would be at the point where he actually, you know, gets recognized as an actual bishop ends up in charge of Tolka, for example, or just a war hero in general. Because right now, status represents the fact that to your superiors, it looks like you're winning. Hardcore. And to everyone in Tolka as well, for that matter. It might even somewhat appear that in Rome, to certain groups. Oh, don't worry. The vast majority of the Tordor did, did leave. Yay! Well, you guys know who we're attacking next, right? Bruja yeah. or the Nosferatu? Well, we're... I, I, I let you guys kind of decide which one we were going for there, and you guys are apparently going for the Overland. So, we're apparently going for the Bruja. Yeah, the sewers are scary. So, who wants to make a case for their natures? Applying. Me. Um. I doubt the I doubt my path will apply. Maybe mine. Not sure. It does. I mean, if it was anyone other than Gangrel. I would hands down award it, but with the gang rel, the thing is that they aren't really into permanent bases. Like this is what the city says their domain is. They're like, sure, yeah, we we would we want some sort of domain because like, what are we scrubs, right? Everyone has domain. We want some, but they don't really like it's theirs and they'll defend it, but they don't really use it for much. It's more a matter of honor for having it. So if you if your objective is to draw Gangrel into a fight, this will do that. Well, it was more of to trying to get back at the Gangrel for uh, killing our reinforcements more than anything. Particularly the Primogen, because he's apparently around. So this was more of trying to eliminate the Gangrel in general. Yeah, I... And as far as he knows, that's where they are, and he doesn't know of a way for them to avoid being burned to death. Well, that is true. You know what? In your ignorance, I'll give that to you. <laughs> because you don't know any better. I mean, Gangrel? I Oh yeah, that that's the ones that grow the weird ears sometimes. Yeah. So, actually yeah. trying to figure out if any of the Gangrel that were in there would have actually ended up burning to death anyway. They would have if they weren't able to get below ground using Earthmeld. Actually, even Earthmeld, it seems like it would uh, would have killed them. And not necessarily fire doesn't really cause huge disruptions to the ground. At least not until the trees start falling. As I said, it seems fairly likely. But yeah, as far as you know, 
you know you killed at least two of them as far as you're concerned. And a city that isn't too big, that's that's gonna sting. You, ex yep. you know, two for two. It's a decent trade, if not a great one. I do also presume that I am aware of their claws at the very least, because that's a that's less of an occult thing and more of a war kind of deal. If you weren't before, you are now. Did any of them get a point of damage through? I thought one might have gotten nope. one past you. Nope. No one got a single point. I only once rolled a soak of one against them, and it was when they dealt one damage. Okay. The rest I got much higher than them. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. I had scrub rolls there. Yep. Well, yeah, it it was enough to hurt. Those scratches are, like, closing now, but you definitely felt the power behind those claws. You, If you didn't before, you definitely know on your own skin that they're a thing now. Okay. Uh, Gwyn, do you have yeah. a cult? You do. Give me a roll of intelligence or cult at six to see if you realize, like, anything about Gangrel. Two, six. Not much. I don't know, Mads. But, hey. Yeah. You, you would know about Earthmeld, at least. And you would, as floating down the river, think, Oh, wait. That guy might have still been there. Um... To be fair, what, part of why I found it so surprising was out of character. I'm pretty sure that takes three turns. It takes one. Oh, it takes one. Yes, it does. I, I just checked. To double check. You're right. That's fast. Okay. Huh. It's automatic and takes a turn to complete. That's it. Yep. Otherwise, yeah. I wouldn't have used it in combat. Good point. All right. So, status awarded, stuff handed out, all is oh, well uh, in the world. Baltimore might uh, be justified for getting another point in his path now. Yes, yes, we forgot about that. Uh, I want to take a look at Bacon's nature, like the actual description. Let's see. Regain a point of willpower whenever you accomplish some task that directly relates to your cause. I think single-handedly getting four mortal soldiers out of the hands of people that would have rendered them unusable for you counts for that. And, well, frankly, Bacon did good, and I want to reward him for that. So if you're missing a okay. point of willpower, Bacon, you can get it back from that. All right. I am full again. Well, that sucks. Almost that full. No, he's that full. He hasn't used that much. Apparently. Okay, in terms of path. Let me take a look at Feral Heart. Okay. You said we base it more on ethics than the path rating. Yes, I so. did. Or rather, the hierarchy of sins. Survival is your first concern. Politics or technology simply get in the way of the hunt. Retain your intelligence and cunning. Right. I think so. I'll give you the fifth point. I think you've earned it. All right. Okay. And that handles the bookkeeping part of this. I think we can wrap up here. And next week, I think we do the pregame for Jackalore's campaign. Uh, what yes. about XP? Yeah, how much XP did we get? Ah, yes, oh, we still course. have to disguise uh, who had the 
moment of awesome. And I, I, I am tempted to give it to Demi because that was a clutch save. But I think Bacon probably deserves it more because that was a okay. whole sequence where he was working it really hard and he succeeded. True. Yeah, it, it's hard to believe that I succeeded at something. That's right. Uh, what does Demi qualify? Would Demi qualify if Bacon hadn't done the whole sequence of getting the cops out? With that amazing roll, which is crab dice at, at exactly the right time. What do you think? Because I would be willing to give one to both. I think that it would was very well timed and a saving roll. Okay, Bacon's four. Demi, I, I assume, is four. What do one more can Jack think? Uh, for who got the badass point? Uh, I'd say Demi. I'd say Bacon. If it would Demi qualify if Bacon didn't, or if I was willing to give it to both of them? As it doesn't oh, qualify as a badass moment at all, that's what I'm asking. I think mm. call it as a badass moment. But well, he okay. saved a player from dying, so. <laughs> so, yeah. Epic, you kind of ended up missing right, that bit, so. Oh. You can't really, you know, yeah. put in on it at all. So. So, you know what? I'll be an arbitrary asshole. Uh, Bacon and Demi, you both get a point. Because I just found Demi's thing so awesome. That was just an amazing save, just perfectly timed. You saved the bitch from getting stabbed so hard, because when he started talking about other Camarilla vampires and about what they were doing and giving specifics away, they were like, yep, kill him now, then run. Until you rolled in and saved him, so... Three across the board, and Gwyn and Michael get four. Congratulations, you saved a life today. Not bad. So we all get three, except for them, right? Yep. Yep. yep here's a question uh, for Baltimore and Chris, because you guys are more experienced. Um, would it be smart to, you now with these a lot of XP that I have, save up and get Celerity four? It varies a lot on a lot of things, is your answer. Well, think about it this way. Do you want to be able to take two dodges and still fire three full-strength shots with an assault rifle while storming the Varens down below? Because that might be well. useful. <laughs> Alternatively, more aspects and more perception could be damn good as well if you're hunting Nosferatu yeah, at some point. about aspects as well. Simply so I can actually see motherfuckers better. Guys, oh, very guys, good, I can travel the Warrens and I don't need to turn on a light. <laughs> <laughs> Except that the eyes give you away. But you act like I care about that. I want them to come <laughs> at me. <laughs> <laughs> Six Nosferatu, the office gate. Wrong hood, bitch. I cover up the any the only way past me with my wings. You're trapped here with me. <laughs> uh, that reference, fuck me. <laughs> mm. I just need fifteen experience. Uh, well, eleven more experience to get aspects uh, for. Don't worry. I need six more experience, and I'll have uh, fortitude five. Mm -hmm. Jackalore. If you make it to status 3, or to status 2 and get the uh, Zemitsi and Sile, who knows colonism, to actually like you, you will be able to start training that and taking levels in that. Hell, I'm True. curious as hell how uh, we got vicissitude 5. Shit, man. 
That was, I believe, last session. He just picked it up recently. Early? Okay. Yeah. Cool. I spent. I waited, waited a long time to get this Fortitude Five. A long time. Don't worry. I've been waiting a long time for Fortitude Five too. Six more XP. Two more sessions. That, or you need to eat I... someone who has Fortitude Five. Or six. They would also have to be equal or lower in generation. Though. If they have six, you could go up to five. Now. Actually, yeah, it wouldn't matter because if they have six, well, unless they're in Golconda, right? Mm hmm. Oh, that's true. Like, yeah, if they, are, they have Golconda, they could totally go above, like, generation limits. So okay. That. Can you imagine Tremere game? Just like one character. Okay, I tested their blood. What are they? 10, Gen 13. Oh, good. Good, I attack them. Okay, they activate Potence 9. <laughs> 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 you go splat! <laughs> Hell, the kid gets Potence 10 at that point. <laughs> they are doing Golconda. There's literally nothing stopping them from literally just going to Potence, uh, potence uh, about 10. Potence 10 would cost, as in clan, 45 experience points, I believe. Yes. Mm -hmm. As out of clan, it would be 63 mm -hmm. for the last level. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, fun times. So, Bruja with uh, uh, Gokonda Bruja, all of a sudden you don't... Uh, your clan uh, clan flaw doesn't mean shit. I mean, you don't automatically frenzy, so yeah. Or rather, you you don't frenzy unless you like ever frenzy you're ever. immune to it. Yep. Yes. But Golconda I would say that fun. pretty much any clan flaw, if you make it to Golconda, becomes extremely weak if non-existent, because you are you at that point essentially conquered the curse. Yep. So, guys, how, how do you like Baltimore continuing to frustrate Chris by not taking damage? <laughs> um, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. Uh, don't worry. I have worse yet planned. Oh, sure. Uh, There's weaknesses. You take advantage of things. It's all good. I can't wait for them to somehow hire uh, hi, uh, manage to hire a uh, Zimishi and get them to create a boss for them to send it against Baldemore, but to Baldemore go and crash it instantly. <laughs> they sent a vase against you. What? <laughs> Was that it? No. No. But the other two are, like, another day behind them. Ah, disappointing. <laughs> You know, if I rolled well enough, once fully buffed in the war form, I could possibly take on a boss. Is that a challenge? I would like to try it, but I'm not. I'm. Uh, but yes, I could totally try it if you wanted to. <sighs> then if it doesn't work, I just enter blood form and run away. Like, bitch, I personally think me. Baltimore is still a little ways away from actually trying, being able to really try to take on Avast. But he's getting really close. Okay, so, who wants to spend experience? Speak up, I want to uh, wrap up. Unless for some reason you would be willing to allow me to suddenly grab some other things. But I said I'm working on getting the fifth dot of fortitude ever since I started getting the XP. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jackalore, you're saving yeah. for Auspex 4. Yes. Demi. I think I'm going to be saving for Auspex 3 as well. I mean, if you have enough for uh, Celerity 4, you have enough for Auspex 3. Uh, no, no, I'm still a bit of XP behind. Okay. Oh. Um, no, 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 no. I was seeing if I'm going to take it or not later when I get the XP. It's going to take me one more session. Okay, so you are saving up for Auspex uh, 3. Okay. 
Yes. Lyran. Uh, saving up for Thanatos is five. Okay, Michael. Starting to save up for Dominate five. Oh, okay. really? Yay. Or Good. maybe up to Liberation four. Well, Something like that. Uh, four. Liberation four is great. Dominate 5 can be useful under the right circumstances. Like, if you can get enough bombs and, um, well, create a timer so that I when you release the thing, you have another turn in which you can actually zoom out of the body about to explode. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Anyway, I'm going to end recording here. Go ahead. So, yeah.